If you're not ready to fight on night one, it's already too late. It's not news to anyone that our world and the threats in it are changing rapidly. Adversaries like China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran have developed advanced technological, tactical, and weapons capabilities. Combined with a recent and renewed spirit of audacity and antagonism, these adversaries pose a threat to American freedom, democracy, and our very existence in ways that we haven't seen in generations. Maintaining our status as the most powerful fighting force in the history of the world requires a mind-boggling amount of funding, coordination, and training. As all military personnel know, airplanes belong in the air and flyers want to fly. But open-air engagements are dangerous, expensive, and unrealistic. The limitations of open air have long been known, and we've been trying to fill that gap with simulators for decades. Early on, point-and-click iterations were too simplistic and nowhere near sufficient as stand-ins for life-and-death combat. More recently, we've been able to build hardware and user interfaces which more closely resembled the realities of war. The limitations on computing power created an experience which still fell well short of real combat. Sensor models did not match real-world performance. Threat models did not match our adversaries' capabilities. This has cost us time, money, and warfighting effectiveness. On top of all that, with fifth-generation technology, the DoD has had to create different simulators for every kind of weapon system, oftentimes using different contractors to build each simulator. So every time a new threat or new weapon system has emerged, we've been forced to build multiple versions of each simulation environment from scratch, and none of them talk to each other. That is, until the joint simulation environment. The joint simulation environment is the outcome of a multi-year, multi-hundred million dollar investment to create the most advanced and holistic military training tool that has ever existed. The JSE uses actual F-35 cockpits to the part and number to enhance realism. It then uses intricate audio-visual systems in domed environments to transport pilots to any altitude, anywhere in the world, multiple times per day. But alone, that's not what makes the JSE special. The real magic is under the hood. The compute and processing power within the hardware of the JSE can create endlessly complex, dense, and specific scenarios through a high-speed, adaptive, physics-based environment. It's that government-owned technology combined with the best information from our intel communities that breaks the mold of traditional distributed scenarios and pushes JSE from mere simulation to revelation. The JSE is the only simulation that can live up to the realities of night one, translating the transmit and receive of the EM spectrum into the actual physics by which our warfighters make real-time combat decisions. In the joint simulation environment, our pilots come face to face with the severity of the threat, the extent of their vulnerabilities, and the moment when it's time to take their shot. At NOC AD, we're extremely proud of what we've developed with the JSE. We're already well underway and thrilled that so far, the reviews from Top Gun are top notch. But our mission has always been bigger than ourselves. Beyond the computing power and the realism of the simulation experience, the real power and possibility of the JSE lies in its abilities across DOD. We have built an incredibly robust and powerful engine for training simulations, which allows us to seamlessly integrate new weapon systems into a single architecture with robust digital range. But this engine needs fuel to make it to its final destination. For too long, our armed forces have been forced to invent individual solutions for each entity across each branch. JSE can be the first step towards de-siloing the solutions to our toughest military problems. So here's our big ask. Help us take the fight to our adversaries, because the challenge and the stakes couldn't be higher. We need DOD and industry partners bringing high-fidelity models into the digital range so that we can train our troops to fight the way our wars must be fought and won on night one. Together.